Yes, Spotlight Radio Show, Street 93.3. Shout out to everybody that's tuned in right now. Shout out to everybody that's hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and on my ringtone, my phone. Hit me on my phone. Man, okay, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know what to say right now. Like, I don't even, like if I had, like, the instruments and the tuba. Is that the tuba? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Man, I would like to introduce everybody to my special surprise Yes, spells, spells right. production, spells RM, spells the most, <laughs> yeah. spells. Welcome to Spotlight Radio Show. What's happening? What's happening? How are you? I'm blessed. I can't complain. I'm I'm so blessed. Already. First of all, I gotta tell everybody how how we met at uh, my sister's graduation. Shout out to Carissa for graduating. Shout out to the sister. Yes. Shout out to Matt. You feel me? Already. That's where I was there you for. was there for your cousin? Yeah, for like my brother. That's my your brother. brother. Yeah. Already. Ayo. Already. We was standing up there and. Um, I was kind of like nervous because I was like I didn't want them to have called her name and I wasn't there, and I think they had called or no I came back, I don't know I was like back and forth back and forth but I was like a nervous wreck like I want to hear my sister's name called I don't even I didn't, I couldn't even find her down there so I just want to hear her name. It was a lot of people. Yes, and you came through. You had your camera. I was like, take a picture. Put hashtag Spotlight Radio Show and from there it was history. Yeah, like, it, it was, it was instant connect, like boom, booking, like by the instant. time yeah, you left, came back, took picture, um picked the date, <laughs> <laughs> everything. I was, like, I was like, when you open, you was like, <laughs> shoot, I'm open Monday. I'm like, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's do it. Like Glory instantly. God, you know what I, I'm saying? I love I love fast action. I love people that say, Hey, this is what I want to do. I'm gonna do it. And you was on it. Oh yeah, and I'm here too. Yes, I'm here. here on time. On time. With your equipment. On time Set with up. my equipment. Yes. You know, ready, working. Already. So okay, let let's let the people know who you are. I know that this is your first radio interview ever. Yes. I know that you graduated last year from Sam Houston. Yes. And for out. your department of videos yes. and Mass media. Yes, communications film. Yes. Okay. Concentration in film, minor in theater. Right. Yes. So I mean, but you sent me two tracks, so Oh yeah, and I do music too. Right. Like, I, I, really, I do it all. I'm a I'm a jack of all trades. You know what I'm saying? God gave me the blessings to have all these talents, these gifts to give back to the community. Um, I do fume. I do I do photography. I do um, ma- like modeling, acting, uh-huh. di- like directing, yeah. music. I do it all. You know what I'm saying? This, I, I started my production company when I was 13. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Spells Productions. And yes. from there, it's just been a, tr- a journey with, with me and my crew. You know? Okay, great. So you came, you're from New Orleans. Yes. New Orleans. How you say it? How do I say it? Well, you know, no law all day in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my city. Okay. I love y'all all day. Keep Alrighty. y'all head up. I know it's flooding out there right now. So, right. you know, put the prayers out there in the city and put the prayers out all over the world. Really. Already. So when did you come to Houston? Katrina. 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 Wash me here. Wash me here. You know, wash me here. Wash me here. And and, and, and truthfully, um, uh, after that, it really blessed me. Right. It really blessed me because truthfully, it changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Being out there is is it's something. You right. it's, if you survive New Orleans, you could survive anywhere else. Really. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that for you know, it gave me the mentality that I have now. Um, and and I'm here. Right. I'm yes. Just here. Already, man. Okay, S- spells, spells. What's your like? Is that like your well, stage my, name? Yeah. Well, the- truthfully, that's my last name. Okay. You know, my my full name is Aaron Spells. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and spells, I just I wanted to brand my name. I right. Like I'm a branded. I'm a brand that name Already. because I believe my family and I are legendary. Already. You know what I'm saying, and I give shout out to the Kardashians. I give shout out to. Everybody that branded their name, the Hello. Smith, you know, Jada, yes. you know, Will, Tessa Allen, you know, T. A. Yes. you know, the Kardashians, you know, the West, you know, yes. what I'm saying, like they they branded their name, and so when their name is said, it's a whole different light. So when I come, I'm like I'm Spells, All and right. people know me as by my last name, Mr. Spells. That'd be fine. You still saying my last name, and that's just Already. it's, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's yeah. a branded, put a stamp spells. on. Spells, you know I mean? damn right. <laughs> you got me want to go gangster. Yeah. I, I love your type of your flow. Um, listen to this first song. Um, I like that speed. Like you had took off. Like 
Actually, I was homeless when I wrote that. Really? Yeah, that's the story behind that. Blessings was uh, I was in school, mm-hmm. and really, it, it it brought me to a place where I was on the streets of Huntsville. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who to go to. You know what I'm saying? Life was just turning upside down. I had financial aid was good. Next thing you know, I didn't have financial aid. I was like, Lord, what's going on? And really, what I did was not take not take my homelessness as a man i'm down i took it as a excitement i took it as like okay you got me here for a reason i don't know what reason that is but i want to find out i'm gonna learn about it i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna gonna basically get on my grind i'm gonna go to church i'm gonna try to just change my atmosphere change the people i'm around etc etc because i didn't know what it was but i tried to figure it out instead of looking at it as a fault Mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying and from there i was like you know what i got i had no car I had no car, I had no money, I had yes. no place to stay. And he gave me a car, he gave me a job, yes. and I got my house back. And okay. from there, I was just like, man, blessings. That's just all I'm saying, just yes. blessings. And I like I like Big Sean and Drake and how they did their thing on that, but I felt like they didn't do it right. Not, okay. not knocking it, I just like, right. man, look, the blessings, when you down, yes. when you down, and you don't have nothing else. There's only one place. There's only one place, one person, one spirit that you go to, okay. and that could change it all upside down. You know Already. What I'm so he gave me a free car, a free. Uh, uh, my rent was paid for the rest of the semester. Next year, I was I graduated. Yes. <laughs> I graduated. I got a degree. I was excited. I was blessed. Wow. And that's just where the song was inspired by. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, you know, you know, like, how do I go all this mess when I go to church, scream your name, and give you praise? But on the other hand, when I looked at it, I looked at looked at myself i'm going to parties doing drugs and getting late we getting late but we just want to be saved everybody want to be saved but right. they you know you can't you can't you can't you can't do one thing and do the and and and, and you're doing something totally different right. you know what i'm saying so with that being said like that's just where the song came at you know what i'm saying like bro i did so much stuff and he had to bring me to my bottom to show me how I can be come this yes. life, you know what I'm saying? Already, so. hell yeah, I I believe that. Oh my, definitely. How did your family take you um, being homeless? And I'm only gonna I'm speaking that way because you're talking and looking to a person yeah. who was homeless yeah. and in the city of Houston, coming from New Orleans yeah. myself, Seven Wars, Saint Bernard. Shout out to your Shout family. Out. Shout out to our families. For sure. Um, they soldiers. They rocking. Absolutely. Being in Houston and being, you know, because I followed my dreams and my passion and not um, lend myself to other people, you know, as far as um, being accountable for my blessings. And I took it how it came. You know, I was homeless in the city three times. And uh, my family was like, well, why do you tell us and this and that? I just say sometimes you got to go through something by yourself. You understand? So how did your family um, feel about you being homeless, saying that you was homeless? Because sometimes they feel more offended. Yeah. You know, like. uh, Yeah, they feel. Okay, well, to answer that question, one thing about it, my mom, that's my that's my love. That's that's my rock. That's my everything right there. She she been through so much. Got. Truthfully, because of her, I know there's a God. You know what I'm saying? Because truthfully, my mom could have been gone, literally, in her dead bed, etc., etc. But that's a whole nother story. But to answer your question, is that my mom took it as, son, you growing up, and either you going to have your hand out, or you going to find a way. And how I took it is that I'm not about to ask no man, because I don't feel like I need to owe any man but God. You know what I'm saying? Um, I felt like I didn't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't need to owe any man but God the explanation of why I'm here. You see what I'm saying? And therefore, you know, my friends and everything wanted to help me out and stuff like that. And I and, and I told them it's up to you. But I'm not. I'm not gonna ask you or be banging on your door like, bro. I need your help. The people that did help me out and at times they being blessed right now. Right. God blessing them. You know what I'm saying? Because they know for sure I'm a soldier for the Lord and for sure that. No matter what I'm going through, I'm going to look at it as the next day, get excited. The next day, get excited. I woke up on that bench like, man, he gave me another day to do something that I need to do to get right. Right. And that's just how I felt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not looking at it like, dang, bro, I have no money. (laughs) I have no no call, bro. I can't get nowhere. Now I look at it. I look at it like... Man, I'm here for a reason. I'm excited. Thank you for giving me these this oxygen to breathe. And we're going to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep moving. So my family look at it as, 
Did it make you a better man? Did it grow you? Absolutely. Did it make you better? Did it make you stronger? And it did. And, I, and that's really that's really it. That's why I came out with blessings. And talking about blessings, I just, as the song was playing, as yes. she was playing the song, I just did a video and I leaked. <laughs> it dropped just now. I just okay. dropped it. I just Great. dropped it. So go to the YouTube, Spells Productions. If you were liking the song, liking the movement, liking like like you know, liking me, you know what I'm saying? Just personally, check out the video on Spells Productions on Alrighty. YouTube. It's Alrighty. called Blessings. All right. So what made you motivated about music? You know, um, what are some of the things that, that you prioritize to live out your dreams? Um, one thing I have to say is I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And with that being okay. said, um, I can I can I can I can dance. I love dancing. That was my first talent. That was okay. my first passion. Dancing to 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 modeling on stage to being a distribution company. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So, with that being said, that's what really molded me to do music. And then before I did my production company, I had a label. Okay. I started a music label. I was really behind the music, and I always had an ear for music, especially being from New Orleans. You can you can vouch for that. Yeah, you you DJing right now. You know you had that ear. It's in our soul. You know okay. what I'm saying? It's in our spirit. You know what I'm saying? We 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 wake up jamming. So do you do do that funky dance? Like oh yeah, the shoulder work. Oh the, yeah. And the oh, yeah. the it, it, it gets, it they be like down. give me some. They be hidden fighting and down. legs going crazy. <laughs> legs going crazy. You know Hold like. <laughs> Like the funky chicken, I guess. I don't know. Please I don't, don't call it our dancing. <laughs> you heard? It, it, it's literally called bounce, bounce. and it's bounce. a graduation. Bounce. It's a different dance style that came up in New Orleans, and bounce is a collaboration of um, a lot of dance yes. cultures, from tap dance to um, jazz dancing, African uh, culture, African culture. You okay. know, New Orleans is a conglomeration of cultures yes and so the dancing comes from you know a lot of times people go down to the french quarter and they would have i had many of friends that would go down um that knew how to dance Mm -hmm. but they didn't have a lot of money and so this thing was big on if you had a pair of shoes you understand you couldn't afford tap shoes so they would take their the bottle tops the coke tops and put it underneath the shoe and they would give it that clicking effect Okay. And you know, so they would put the bottle tops down there, and it's a form of tap dancing. But you know, New Orleans got so much rhythm and soul that you you know you added the bounce moves, and bounce is just you know, um, shout out and uh, long live Warren Mays. And yes. a lot of people don't know the Ghetto Twins actually was the background dancers for Warren Mays, yeah. and Warren Mays had the first hit coming out of New Orleans for Bounce called "Get It Girl, yes. Don't Stop." Get it, girl, don't and stop. And so uh, the Ghetto Twins literally was his dancers, and everything else spawned from the Warren Mays joint. And of course, you know DJ Jubilee took the whole "Get It Ready" around the world mm-hmm. and to several countries, right. and put our dancing on the map. And we have people like big free to a part of the culture that's taking it more and more outside of it just being music but showing that we are culturally able to handle acting um poetry music and everything else so it's just a graduation of cultures everybody's knocking the style you know you see you see uh uh, molly cyrus taking uh twerking to another level when truthfully it's been invented in the city i mean tell me this (laughs) i mean like do i mean is there white people in new orleans Oh yes. Do oh, they yes. dance like that too? Oh yes. Like and it, it, it's cool. it's so crazy that you like I, and we're yeah. not just talking about Dan Rue either. Yeah, no. Like <laughs> it, it, the crazy thing is, I, I I kid you not. When I came to Houston, that's when I that's when I seen the actual white folks. I okay. kid you not. I kid you not. I kid yeah, that's what I'm like because like, the people in New Orleans have so much soul. Absolutely. So much. I'm, when I tell you so much soul, yeah. it's like, dude. Like what? What? What are you? Like, yeah. what, who are you? Like, it's the culture. Is in the water. Is in the red beans. Yeah. I mean, you got you know. Is in the red in beans. The it's, it's in everything. And if you are part of that culture, you can't do nothing but pick up the culture and the rhythm. White folks, even the Asians. Yes. You understand? What? I, 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 I was um. You and know, they got Mexicans and stuff out there too. And so they, you know, they they, it's it's a whole culture that's coming up yeah. with New Orleans and the Mexicans because of Hurricane Katrina. A lot oh, yes. of Mexicans migrated to New Orleans because of that. But you are now starting to see the lineage 
of the Katrina kids. I call them the Katrina kids, but it's the Mexicans and the black kids that's coming up within the last 10 to 12 years, like literally coming from that situation. So it's a whole new splice of, of culture coming out. Hey, when is the, the anniversary for the Katrina? When was that? Shoot. Uh, August the 29th. 29th, okay. I thought August it was, the 29th. I thought it was round in this area this time. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 29th. Wow. wow. Lord. August How 29th. many years? 2005. Since 2005. Hey. Wow. To all the people that lost somebody, you know what I'm saying, keep your head up, made your love, and keep doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here supporting and putting prayers out there for y'all, you hear me? Already. And do the same for me, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Don't pray for my downfall, though. <laughs> okay. So, um, with this videography, did I say it right? Videography? Yeah, videography, videography but videography. Film making, filmmaking, filmmaking, definitely. Video. I love making movies, you know what I'm saying? Even if you got music videos, I'm trying to make it into a movie. Already. So, what, of all projects that you have worked on, have you what what was your biggest have you have that biggest moment like i can't believe i'm doing this right now like when, when was that moment uh have you had that moment yet yeah, well i can't say well okay truthfully i feel like every moment when you going into your journey and every special moment like this right here this is something that i'm going to cherish for the rest of my life yes. yeah you know this is the start of this is just the beginning of the door opening already you know what i'm saying and with anything yeah i feel like anybody no matter what opportunity you get just make sure that you get excited because right. you may not have this opportunity again you know what i'm saying yeah. god forbid i leave this this studio right now and I'm, i lost my life right you know what i'm saying everybody losing like man yes you know what i'm saying it's just it's just where you just have to enjoy the moment Already. and not think about your future or your past. It's about Hello. the moment. Yes. Well, this moment has been designed for you. Go ahead on and give the people your social media handles before we get into your second song. Oh, yes, yes. So social media handles, we got Spells Productions on IG. Really, you can find Spells Productions anywhere. That's S-P-E-L-L-Z Productions, and you could get that on Instagram, Twitter, well, not Twitter, Twitter is spells underscore RM, mm -hmm. Facebook spells productions, YouTube spells productions. Um, for my personal Instagram, it spells the most, so that's S P E W L Z underscore the most. And um, for Twitter, it spells underscore RM. I can't change it yet. I'm trying to change it. They're not going to let me change it, so I probably have to make a whole new to Twitter, but that's that. But, um, yeah, really what I want y'all to do is go to the YouTube, check out that new Blessings that just came out. Y'all just heard it, lot, like, first and exclusive here. Tell me what y'all think. Give me y'all comments. And where's here? Here, excuse me. Spotlight Radio. I just wanted to know if you knew where you was, three. Jesus. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. This Look, I'm feeling homie. You yeah. know what I'm already, already. Street home, you know what I'm saying? I see the home um, right I was, I was um, listening to a couple of things, and... Uh, I just wanted to know when you seen Tessa at that at the graduation, what was your feelings? And uh, you know, it seemed like you made it up here pretty quick. So let's talk about that, and then we're gonna introduce your song. Okay. Well, when I, it was it's, it was really it was just a, a a spirit talking to both of us. I feel like it was just like yeah. introduce yourself. And actually, I was taking pictures, and she was like, "Take a picture of me." And I just love that spirit. Anybody that had that type of spirit. You know what I'm saying, and from there, when she said I what she did, when she said what I what she did, and I told her what I do, and I just really, I always prayed to just be on the radio one day. You know what I'm saying, and and and, and kick it with with y'all really. And well, you know she's happened. a celebrity, so she gets stopped. <laughs> Hey. Did he just snap it up? <laughs> yes. yes. He did. Hey, we got a. Yeah, I'm from the same place, so we gotta, I'm going to applaud. I'm expect this, anything. We <laughs> got <laughs> applause. Hey. Absolutely. Yes. But I give you applause, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. being from the city. You got your own station and stuff. Everybody tuning in. Shout out to you. You 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 are truthfully an icon. And me oh, personally, you, I appreciate you doing your thing because you're not the average Joe that everybody think. You feel me? And oh, that's what's up. We gotta we got to come out here and show 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 what we can. Well, do the thing is, strength. you ain't got to, but be, but because the spirit that you have in you, it obligates you because they yes. say it takes one to know one. Yes. So nobody's obligated to do anything, and I don't you know get on the high horse and stuff like that yes, because no. 
No, no but when you feel when like-minded people do um, sins together, it's a wonderful day. And just know you're on a radio station. Tessa is in a, almost her fifth year. Yeah, it'd be five years. Five I'm years. First. Nice. Absolutely. My first and time so, ever here. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So after three years, we had well over 750,000 listeners, Aye. and we're now eight and a half years. So you're in a good place to be starting. Bless. And, uh, um before we go thank anywhere. Thank you, all the listeners. Thank you. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. 832-804-6703 is the radio request line number. Um, who produced the next song that we're about to debut to the world? Um, Right now, we're Man Up. Oh, God. Keep talking, baby. You, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't working yet. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. Uh, Right now, I got uh really this guy named Chiggy. I, I met him up online, and he sent me a beat, and... um. With Man Up, well, with this one, with Man Up, actually, I, I, I really love um, Steph and Marley. The Marley family is amazing. You know what I'm saying? That's another story. Marley is a, is amazing. And that's another thing. You see how they name is dominant. They name is legendary. Yes. They, they, they dad, Bob Marley, mm-hmm. has left a legend legacy yes. here like no other. You got the grandson now coming out with music. And that's just what I'm trying to set with spells. You see what I'm saying? And um, really, this this was in influenced by um, his song, um, You're Gonna Leave. Um, and so what I did is I had a homie to just get it and, you know, give me the instrumental. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do my spin on it. And it's a big story, which I'm going to tell about. Hopefully I catch it. I'm going to tell about the story afterwards. But this is called Man Up. And really, it's all about how you look at it. Open your mind. Already Spotlight Radio Show Street ninety three point three. Kick it in, keep it in, keep it locked in. Spells, yes. three. Spells is in the building. Hey. Spells production on Instagram. Hey, man. Spells production is everything. Google it. Spells underscore the most. Yes, yes. Man. Spells underscore the most. Instagram. Why spells. I do the most? Right, man, Already. shoot, God can answer that question. Man, well, God bless your <laughs> journey. God bless your journey. Hey. I can't wait to see what all is to come. Just give me three people that you would like to work with in the future. But you, I know you're going to work with them. So who's on your bucket list? Uh, Anthony Mackey is one of them. Um, two, I have to say, uh, F. Gary Gray. Okay. He did, He did. you know, set it off um, Friday. Everybody know yes. Friday. And he just did uh, Straight Outta Compton. That was a good movie. Um, and my last but not least, I really want to work with Marvel. I love, okay. like, Marvel is doing an amazing job. And um, really, that's just where I, I, I got to get to. You know what I'm saying? Right. And again, with my talent, with, with, with my gifts, really, I, just, I don't call them talents. I call them gifts because, yes. truthfully, he wouldn't give you these talents if you don't use it as a gift and, and, and spread it out to the world so the world could be surprised and love what they have you feel love what you have give me some words for that person that may be down sitting down on the corner right now and listening to this show th- on somebody else's phone hey, well, like me, words I'm, of encouragement let, let me let y'all know something you are king you are queen and you have a journey and he never said it would be easy so therefore Every day, wake up, get excited because you don't know what that day could bring. Because truthfully, it's gonna bring whatever you bring around. If you think that you down, then you're gonna be down. But if you think that you up while you down, guess what? You're gonna always be up, and things that's up is gonna come towards you. You are what you eat, you are what you put out, you are what you think you are. And if you think it, you shall become. And I think I'm legend. Already, man. Shout out to your mama. Shout out to your whole yeah. family in New Orleans, New Orleans. Mama, love yeah. you so your mom, much. Yo, is your mom here in Houston? Yeah, my mom in Houston. Uh, man, like I said, okay. that's a whole nother story. I, w- I would love to come back and tell y'all that story because she's a testimony walking, period. Already. Period. She fixed gumbo and stuff? Oh, she, oh. Cooking? Man, I, that's what, you know, like, because I'm not from there, you yeah. know, like, I, I yeah. haven't had that real authentic just. I mean, I don't eat crawfish and lobster because I don't like that texture. But, you know, really? I just know. Yeah, it's something about the texture. You know, it's, like me, I'm it's, it's a lot of stuff you need to eat. I'm Let's, pig feet, oxtails. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pig feet, exactly, yes. But, you know, the fish side and, you know, all the etouffee, right? You know, etouffee. Jambalaya. Benicua. Uh, pole boys is really good. Get a pole boy. You, could, you get a pole boy. See, people don't make the pole boys like they're out in the city. Okay, so pole is there a place around here that I can go to that you went to that said, man, this is kind of tastes like home? Um... 
Could you recommend me anywhere besides your mama's kitchen? Look, that's what I was about to say too. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was about to say too. I was well, about the to say next time y'all have some gumbo, you oh, know. No, for sure. Guess what? I will give you a ring. Y'all right. north side, south side, east side, west side. What We're side, on y'all? North side right north side. now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Really, me right now. I'm trying to find where to be. So if anybody want to work with me, I'm, I'm coming to you. I'm working. Already. You know what I'm saying? Spells work. Productions on Instagram. Spells All productions. right, you can go to spotlightradioshow.com. And I don't know what section you at, but you can go find Spells Production. Be sure to mention Spotlight Radio Show when you call him. Hit him up. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, uh-huh. is something else? Is it okay if I say something else? Of course. All right. Well, it's something else about this man up. I know y'all just heard man up. It's a story behind that, and this 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 goes to a lot of people out there. Um, it's people before, out- before you say that, go make ahead. sure you book with Tessa Radio Takeover so we could do a full expose. Oh, can we do that? Is that right now? You gonna book with her? Yeah, we about to book her. We about to we about to book. So me. you know, radio takeovers <laughs> is thirty minutes, an hour. We are showing you some love because oh, yeah, we really was no, was definitely sure. blessed by your story. Thank you. In uh, two hours, but just know, um, don't let this be the last time you tune into the station. Oh, not. Um, everybody that's listening, that's following spells, right after he get off, still continue to call and request his music. Yes, please. 832-804-6703. Follow us at Tessa, T-E-S-S underscore Allen, or at Street 933. You can see a lot of the content on both of our pages right now about the young man's spells as we speak. But go ahead on and, and tell the people about your music. Well... Truthfully, with Man Up, it, 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 it merged from me having this lost roommate. And and with, he wanted me to be his enemy, but I didn't give him the satisfaction. You see what I'm saying? And with that being said, you know, it, it, I tell everybody, it's somebody, you have a path, and evil is going to come upon that path. But it's your choice to... Give it the satisfaction. Already. It's your it's your choice to give it that fuel. So when it's come down to manning up, you know, saying like I said, when I was young, I used to fight all the time. That's all I used to do. Okay. But my mom used to say, "Man up, walk away from it." You know what I'm saying? You can laugh at them. They don't know you. They don't know that you're a legend. Okay. They they hating on you. So yeah. therefore, with anybody that's hating on you or anybody that's like trying to talk down on you, you don't have to go tit for tat with them just walk away and and, and live your life be on your journey yes man already it made me had me gave me a flashback yeah for sure everybody could touch that man i appreciate you coming to spotlight radio show you're always welcome to come back um definitely want to book the radio takeover with you two hour takeover one hour takeover i would love to do that infinity takeover okay infinity Infinity. takeover We taking over the globe, you know what I mean? Galaxies. Just please, shout out to your mama. <laughs> when you make some gumbo, just get it right out the pot, put it in a bowl. I'll come. Oh, come get Bellway it. 45, I'm gonna call you 45, 45 Greens Road, wherever, 45 West Road, don't matter. I'm going to call just you immediately, get, I yes. promise you. I mean, I don't, just give me the soup. <laughs> or the roux. You call it the roux? The roux. Just the roux. give me, just, I want to taste that flavor, man. Shout out to my mama. Just get a recipe or something to make some. Oh, yes. Like, and beignets. When you go to New Orleans, get some beignets. beignets. You gotta get beignets. Beignets. That's like the that's beignets? like that's like the that's like the traveling package. You get beignets and you be good. What a, Oh five donuts. Okay, yeah. Thank but good. yeah, you had me scared. Like it seemed like it was like a piece of a gut or something. <laughs> you know, like something on, I mean, cause y'all like y'all like soupy stuff, like fish and caviar oysters and you know. <laughs> I just say y'all like that type of stuff. You know, we pig feet, oxtail, dill meat, squirrel, you know. Yeah, that, that's that, that you, you, you Texas, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. yeah, that's that Texas South, stuff right there. Yes, Texas. You know, like now, don't get it wrong, we got okay. gator, you know what I'm saying? We got snake, we got all, like, uh, yes. you know, we that Cajun, that Cajun crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So is it true that um, I don't want to just keep prolonging the service, but I just gotta ask: Is it true that y'all do voodoo stuff? What is that? What is that about? Is that a myth? You know, you know what's crazy is that I did a lot of re- I did some research on that. Okay. And I realized that that actually is a a, a Old Testament type of serving, mm. and you know, uh, mo- like let's just say media. Okay. Media always mess with. Uh huh. 
the 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 not saying that I do voodoo. I do not do voodoo. Okay, okay. I do not do voodoo. I don't know anything about voodoo, okay. but because of so many people are afraid or whatever, and then they say my name because my name is spelled. They like right, yeah, yeah. Spells. But um, nah. I, I did my research. Some people I, maybe they do have witchcraft, but mm-hmm. some people probably are worshiping or trying to sacrifice like the right. old testament says so there's like nobody in the street of new orleans like when you were growing up like was doing stuff crazy oh no no okay, I, okay. Nah, not that i know of i okay. hope not <laughs> okay 93.3 man spells man i appreciate you Whoa. coming through showing the love i know this is this is your first oh and i'm excited but this I'm is not your excited. last oh this is not my last this is gonna be like I said, we taking over. Already. Y'all already taking over. I'm trying to get on y'all's tail. Already. <laughs> you feel me? Like, look, hey, yo, 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 don't forget about your little brother. Already. <laughs> <laughs> already, you know man. Like I, like I said, I've been following. I've been, I, 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 I've been watching her for a long time, actually. Yeah. And so, so. Look, I'm I'm just happy that I'm here. Look, I, I, I put it in well, the Well, your smile alone um, tells a true uh, tale. And uh, we're definitely excited about you being yes. here. And once again, congratulations on your degree. Thank you. Um, oh, uh, yes. Congratulations. Shout out to everybody out there that Would got you a shut the hell up while I'm talking? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, you can't. I'm sorry, I'm excited, baby. I'm excited. Boy, baby. you can't you know tell it. these back of town brothers nothing. <laughs> Listen, shout out for your in with parts. Shout out to your family that and your friends that support you. Um, that should motivate you to keep going, keep going. Shout out to that crushed velvet shirt you got on. Hello. With the matching shades. And man, didn't I tell you to shut the hell up? <laughs> so he going to get the real business in just a second. Um, Let's go. A lot of times. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm quiet, I'm quiet. I had said you would be able to handle him. Oh, I got him, baby. <laughs> you going to shut the hell up. Well, a lot of times people don't appreciate people, so sometimes we take it upon our own accord to want to put things in, but get get it in. You got some two, two wonderful women that's definitely giving you something that you can um, eat off and sustain yourself for the next big adventure in your life in your musical industry um span so take it um just know this the beginning of your stop it's not the ending and just know you're dealing with two people that truly do believe in you you keep going and um definitely keep us posted and we'll be looking forward to you coming your mom even if you have your producers or anybody that want to come with you on your radio takeover um or you just want to let the haters know that you're doing all right you know you definitely invite them to the party too whether in physical or spiritual form so definitely give your social media handles again spells productions at spells productions on instagram at spells underscore r of the most on instagram spells underscore rm twitter and then on facebook spells productions youtube subscribe check out the new video that just dropped blessings blessings is out on the spells productions page so check it out subscribe and love okay now what's your social security number all right social is nine 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 desire bye don't play with me boy <laughs> oh, let me put a seven let me put a seven in no there. don't put nothing <laughs> tessa how you feeling right Man, now i feel really really good on um, top and going higher yes yes on top and going higher okay. um first monday from the 8 to 10 p.m um then i got work tomorrow would you shut the hell up Okay. Five years on the twenty first for the, my first time ever walking into this building and sitting down right there in that spot. So I'm really excited. Um I love this moment. Whoa. And I love, love this moment. Love it's it. a great moment. It's, it's a, a great moment. moment. And um uh just like Adele says, rolling in the deep. We are definitely rolling in blessings around here and uh we're gonna keep it going, keep it going. Y'all we're gonna take just a quite a small music break. And then she's going to come up and give you the wrap up of, you know, how we started with the whole uh, Zero and Britney thing. Um, Once again, shouting out to our special, special guest. Um, Spells is in the building. Um, We're going to let you sign one of our celebrity walls of fame. Yes. And um, we're going to get this thing going once again. 832-804-6703. He may leave here, but y'all keep calling and requesting this music. Also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Tessa Allen, and also Street 933. 
Um, we're gonna take y'all to New Orleans right fast. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes, yeah. baby. Let's get it in. Adele rolling in the deep. Turn Shout up. out to all the great